Good night, good night, good night, people of God. Listen, I was supposed to pop back over here on here a little earlier to share this testimony about the brother I spoke on in my video earlier when I was uh in my car at the gym. The guy that called me and I met in Georgia, but um after I got myself settled and everything, I needed to take a nap. I was tired. So anyway, um I shared in my video um how um he had to separate or he I, I advised him separate from the familiar spirits of what he was dealing with he's going through warfare then he had friends uh well people that were friends you know hating on it's come up blah 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 but what i didn't share <sighs> some of the warfare that he was going through um so i'm gonna title this video turn it loose and give it to god baby because god moves swiftly for his on his behalf I think that conversation ended. I remember when I, after I got the phone with him, I prayed, um, I prayed for him. And then I remember when I was backing up, it was like, I think it's like one something, I don't know, one twenty something, whatever. But I know I saw one on the clock. And, um, and so anyway, um, he, what I didn't share a part of what he was going through, because whenever, um, someone is going through a certain level of warfare um there are some things that you just don't share you just pray about until you receive that victory or until you get a breakthrough you know because everybody who you're sharing everything with, you never know what folk are hiding on the inside of them or who the enemy could use to work against um um what you're going through sometimes when you're going through certain level of warfare it ain't good to share everything it ain't good to give everybody information about you you know, and it ain't good to, t you know, when you're connected to folk, they got to know how to, they got to know when to kind of hold their tongue. It ain't good to share everything. Um, but anyway, so I didn't share what he was, uh, some of the warfare that he was going through. But one particular incident, and let me think around this, because I'm not going to go into detail details. But there's a situation, there was a situation uh, where um, he had on his uh, business insurance, there was a company uh, that filed a, a a claim against him, uh, a company that he actually did work for that had nothing to do with the work that was going on on their site, but they wanted to file a claim uh, against him um, to get some materials covered. So they were trying to file like a fraudulent claim um, against his insurance um, and blame him for something that he really didn't do. But in, in, in doing the time um, that he was on the on the site, he, he said, I'm glad I followed my spirit because I took pictures of this. And then he also had a message coming from one of the representatives of the company after he did a certain um, job for them, you know, thanking him or whatever for that. So all of that um, he had. But they were, it was like he was so overwhelmed because the claim that they filed against him and then the representative from his insurance that was handling the claim she when he had the initial call with her um he was sharing with me it was like she wasn't trying to listen to anything she had and saying well we're gonna have to go ahead and cover this or whatever you know um and it's like it was nothing was working in his favor so when he called me today all of that had already occurred and he was actually waiting for them to um get back with him he said that they would um she was supposed to call the representative was supposed to call him back uh, tomorrow, um, and, and let them know what, uh, their decision would be about the entire claim. And so after he shared what he shared with me, I realized that, um, based on the, um, evidence that he had and the situation and circumstances, I, I, I realized he was not responsible and that would have been very negligent on his insurance company to, um, um, go ahead and, and cover that claim. So anyway, I told him something to do after we got off the phone. And then I also, um, I realized all the pressure and stress, like sometimes when you're going through the whole, the goal of the enemy is just to, is, is, is just to wear us down. The Bible says in the last days, Satan's job is to wear out the saints, right? So sometimes one thing after another, one thing after another. So he had all, the friend, the, the different things he was dealing with, the family draining his finances, his sister, and different things like that. He already knew he had to put a stop to all of that. He already knew he had to cut off them friends. But then the other situation 
um, that he was dealing with. I said, you've done everything you know how to do, right? So you got to give it to God. See, God says, lean not on your own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge me. Let me direct your path, right? And that's one of the benefits that we as children of God have. We can give it to God. He says, cast all your cares and concerns on me. And I know sometimes when you're in the midst of it, hearing that is not always easy because you 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 got to you got to understand you got to know how to discard what you're carrying. So I shared a recent testimony of mine with him about how I discarded something that was very heavy for me at the time and I to- I totally had to take my mind off of the situation. And so we went over to the, the, to the word of God and after we went over to the word of God and then I explained to him how you discard it and I in something he was supposed to do after we got the phone and I said once you do that you've done all you can do right and he said yeah I can't do nothing else so what so don't carry it you don't carry it in your mind you keep doing what you're doing I encouraged him because he needed that in his spirit he was already doing a good job he's doing a good job as a business owner and sometimes I saw people needed somebody just to speak life into them and to reassure them when their spirit is weak and so I reassured him he was doing a good job and now he give it he has to give it to the father. So I said after he does what he had to do when he got the phone don't let your mind go back to it because faith and doubt cannot operate in the same realm, you know? And the same thing I, I was telling you guys when I was talking about in our me in our uh, me day, taking a me day, we got to hold on to one scripture. So he had to meditate on the word of God, you know, and know that trust God to figure it out. I can, it's a blessing to be able to give something to your daddy and know that your daddy going fi- to figure it out or handle it for you. And so after we ended that call, I sat in there before I left the parking lot, I prayed and then I left and I went to, you know, continue on with my day. Five hours, about five hours later or uh, close to five hours later, I received a message from him. Now, the conclusion, or he was supposed to be contacted back yesterday. Today, they already contacted him back, and they've settled the matter to where um, they have found, they they have um, closed the the, the case down where he is not liable for anything. So it all turned in his favor. Oh, glory, hallelujah. And when I received that, it made me feel so much full of joy. And then he was full of joy. He was sending message after message. So we were just rejoicing, you know. People of God, I, I wasn't expecting God to move that fast. I was expecting God to move on his behalf tomorrow that he will receive favorable information. But to have God move that fast, like, It just, I was so excited, even though it's not my situation, but the very fact that God moved, you know, and to witness him alleviate some, uh, someone's stress, someone's burden all in the matter of, you know, a few hours. It's just, it it just did something to my soul. I just thank God. That's, that's how big our God is, you know, and like I was saying earlier, you know, we serve a God that's too big to fail. We truly serve a God that's too big to fail. There's nothing that our God cannot do, you know, and sometimes certain things can be, feel like they're so, they, it's so heavy, so heavy at the moment. And a lot of times it feels like that because we are trying, we are carrying it. We are trying to still figure out the situation, how to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. I, 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 I. But then there are times when we have to totally turn things over to God and dis- and discard it. You know, I had a situation that was really, really annoying <laughs> and heavy. And, you know, I'd already uh, set up to have experts come pay experts to come and assist me with this situation and then even when the experts got there what really made me more um uh how could I say it I was just overwhelmed with the situation because when the experts got there they made the situation worse and then they didn't even understand how to fix the situation and I was like what the heck is this Nobody can troubleshoot this. Nobody can fix this. And you're the experts. 
you know, and they couldn't fix it. They actually made it worse. They what they thought was the issue uh, once was an issue. They said, "Oh, this is the issue." I said, oh, "Okay." Then they said, "This is the issue." I said, oh, "Okay." Meanwhile, I'm spending money, spending money, and they and, and it wasn't right. It was wrong. And they're the experts. And then they left. They's like, "I can't. I can't figure it out," you know. And and then the owner, he's like, "Oh, how come a few days later and figured out?" And I'm like. I know a few days later. So it got to the point where the situation was getting so heavy on me because I was trying to figure it out. Everybody who I consulted with and even experts were not able to figure it out. They actually made the problem worse. So that even added to my frustrations. But it wasn't until I discarded the whole thing. I turned it over to God and I said, I'm going to take my mind off of this and I'm going to give it to you because I've done all I can do. There's nothing else I can do. So I'm giving it to you. And I completely went a whole day, took my mind off of it, slept good like a baby that night. I felt so free. You didn't realize how something really can weigh on you when you're trying to carry it yourself until you discard it. And I slept so good. That next morning before the sun even came up, I think it was like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., I heard the Lord give me instruction about how to deal with that same issue that the experts couldn't repair. He told me to go and undo all that they did. And I went and I done all I undo all that they did. And he told me to um, put everything back originally how it was supposed to do, but use something new. And I did exactly everything the Lord told me to do. And the problem was fixed. And it was something very simple. That's the power of God. So people of God, turn it loose and give it to God. Sometimes God just want to show his strength in your life. Nobody gets the glory for your story, but God, but God. And now God is moving in a way where he's proving his people and he's showing his strength through his people and in the lives of his people. All you got to do is trust God. And when you're carrying something, it start getting heavy. That means you carrying it in your own strength. And now it's time to turn it on over to God. It's time to turn. And it's the best feeling in the world because you got a daddy you can dump it over. Just think about an earthly father, an earthly father who loved their child. When you dump something on your earthly father, you give it to him. Then guess what? You ain't got to carry that problem no more. It's all for you. Right? That's the same thing with God. So when you trust God, that's activating your faith right there. The just shall live by faith. So anyway, I'm just happy to share that testimony. I hope it blesses somebody. I hope it brings joy to somebody's spirit like it brought joy to my spirit. God moves. When faith is activated, God moves. Turn it over to God. Have a blessed night, people of God. I love you.